Good afternoon and welcome to Mexico, specifically the city of Chihuahua in the state of Chihuahua in the north of the country. Today's video is a little bit different in that it's a combination of my regular style of travel video and also the 4K walk around videos I occasionally do, which basically are walking around a city with no speaking, you can't see my face, so it gives you an opportunity to have a look around a city at your own leisure. So we're gonna do both today, walking around and occasional talking. So I will shut up in a moment. I'm heading towards Centro. There's the, uh, I love these bus stops, uh, similar to when I was in Curitiba, Brazil. Um, they had like this raised platform, um, all very modern. As you can see, it's nice and sunny today lovely blue skies and there's this archway up here as we head into centro Simon Bolivar. If you haven't seen Chihuahua before, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. I was here last year, I filmed one main video here as well as one in Ciudad Cuauhtémoc which was the site of the famous or infamous Pizzeria Los Arcos <laughs> If you know that video you'll know what I mean um, and the reason I am back again is because last year A I was sick, I had bronchitis really badly for a few months and also that trip was right at the end of my 180 days in Mexico at that point so I had to get on to other locations hence I am back I took a photo of these buildings the other day this sort of dilapidated paintwork I really love I know it's not you know that typical colonial beauty that you may see in the south but it's got its character you know it says a little bit about urban history small businesses course the classic Oxo where would I be without you a lot of people say that you know buildings in Chihuahua northern Mexico in general are all quite modern and have that American kind of feel but you do get many that have that slightly older feel
Chihuahua Tooth. I just walked into someone. Okay, let's cross again because the lighting isn't great on that side. Oh, lovely. Is Mexico safe? Well, it's not when you run into the middle of the road without looking. <laughs> it's the same everywhere, right? El Rosario. Articulos religiosos. Hmm, I wonder what they sell. Bibles? crucifixes let me know <laughs> I've never been in one of those shops my grandmother used to call me the sperm of the devil that's what you get for having a Polish Catholic grandmother and um, this restaurant um, I was meant to go here last year for the main video it's uh, La Casona I understand it's quite a posh restaurant with some rather exquisite dishes um, you never know, we might try and go there in another one, but we have to continue down here. Okay, that shop over there, the uh, one that has like the wedding dresses in it's for weddings and uh, quinceañeras. You might remember that from last year's video. It's where, let's cross over actually, 17, oh here we go, we can cross over, lovely. It's um, where in this window, there used to be a mannequin, um, but it's not there now. I believe it was taken to a museum and was never brought back. Um, but apparently the mannequin is not just any old mannequin, it's the embalmed corpse of the original owner's daughter. There's some other ladies there um, reading the thing as well. There's another um, tourist bus over there. One thing I haven't done in Chihuahua. Rodeo City, bootmakers. Yes, that's one thing I need to do before I leave northern Mexico is get a pair of classic Dorango cowboy boots, you know? Okay, let's go. just on these tourist buses so you know I'm someone that isn't a fan of you know typical tourist things generally however I've got to say ones I've done of these in uh, San Luis Potosi, Zacatecas um, I think that's the only two they're actually really good um, they really give you a nice overview of the city particularly when you first get there um, obviously the the uh, the speech thing they do during is all in Espanol um, but honestly, you don't really need to 
know that information there telling you it's it's enough just to take in the sights of where you are so I would recommend them um, that was my point <laughs> okay I'm crossing over a lot what's going on oh Here's an example of these boots. Classic. You know, I'm moving back to uh, Europe in a few months. Um, it might look a bit weird, me wearing those on the streets of Poland. As you can see ahead of us, we've got the Katitra coming up with another tourist bus. I think this is Farmacia Guadalajara, but I'm outside. Oh, copyrighted music. All right, let's hope that doesn't get picked up by YouTube. Oh, that's one of the troubles of doing this type of video in one shot. Doesn't this remind you of San Miguel de Allende or Perez de Garcia Salinas? You know, the typical red colored with the bars on the window. Catedral. I walked past here yesterday actually and I thought to myself that in videos you know I'm always showing the front of cathedrals and getting drone shots of you know the towers up there but I never really show these side entrances um, I guess it's like the chapel bit there on the left um, but these side entrances of cathedrals and churches in Mexico are like I would say even more intricately detailed and designed and then um, they always have like the mesh wire thing over it because obviously Pigeons, bane of my life, pigeons, especially when it comes to flying drones in Plaza de Armas in Torreon. <laughs> oh yes, I lost a drone in Torreon, thanks to some pigeons. And here are my best friends. Ah, so the walk here, of course, was a little bit chaotic, but now it's time to slow down and have some peace and quiet in the central square. I said about architecture, so yeah, there are concrete monstrosities, um, obviously I love them, um, mixed with this old colonial style architecture including the cathedral i've got to admit you know compared to somewhere like guanajuato or something you know there's not the same degree of colonial architecture um, and there wouldn't be um, but there's still a little bit of it for those of you that like it this is brand new because last year we couldn't come into this area with the kiosco because as with many Mexican cities in 2020 and 2021, they were all cordoned off because of COVID. But it's good to see that we are coming out the other side and we can get onto these kioscos like we used to. Let the abuelita go past. <laughs> Be polite, David, ladies first.
might be able to tell it is a little bit windy here you can get your covid vaccine astrazeneca um i got mine in december in odessa ukraine and that was what four months ago when am i meant to get another one um let's have a look at this dog thing up here hang on this is in the way Yeah, I did some drone shots of this last year. Check out the old video to see it properly. There's like this big dog with a flower thing above its head. Just one of the examples of really nice uh, street art in Chihuahua. Regular shopping street, not much to see here. BBVA Bank, Banamex, probably a wing stop. It's interesting seeing a COVID vaccine tent marquee thing here in Mexico um, because I've got to say having been in Europe prior to this and now with the Ukraine Russia issue um, or should I just say war um, COVID's kind of disappeared from the news hasn't it um, not in Mexico though um, it, I feel very detached um, yeah, it's strange. Does, does anyone else feel like that, being in the Americas? Whether you're in the US, whether in, you're in Canada, Brazil? I noticed it in Brazil as well. Still very much a focus on vaccines and pandemics. Okay, I can't go down there because there is copyrighted music, so let's go back in this direction. You can see the dog a little bit better now. Here's the obligatorio cubrebocas. Here's your face masks on the street, obligatory. Um, mine's around my chin at the moment because I'm talking to the camera and it will be muffled. Excuse me, I just have to change hands because my grip is becoming extremely um, uh, hurting, <laughs> irritated. <laughs> Another typical shopping street in Chihuahua. Yeah, okay, let's go down here. I know where I'm going.
you remember these things from the video last year? I walked through these and they had like, um, what I thought, because I'm a dumbass, um, water coming down to like, um, hydrate people and keep people cool. But no, it was like disinfectant for COVID. What an idiot. <laughs> You notice I'm a little bit like a pinball down this street because if I hear music that will get picked up by YouTube in a shop, I have to go to the other side. The perils of YouTube. Oh God, there's another one. The struggle is real. Plaza Comercial, Calle Libertad. Commercial Street. Doesn't take a genius. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, this is the um, government palace, Palacio Federal. I don't remember this gorilla being here last year, but apparently it's now a thing. These local buses in Mexico, depending on where you are, can range from anything from seven pesos to 12 pesos. Usually, I would say that's a usual range. 
this memorial and um, the fountain down there, that was like that last year. I remember someone said in um, Tulia Can that the fountain there, the um, copper pipes had been stolen. I don't know if that's the same case here. It's very windy. girl just fell over. <sighs> you okay, hon? So if you're from the US or Canada, you might be thinking, oh, it looks a bit typical American city, or maybe you're from Texas. It does look very El Paso, right? Um, and that's what I wanted to say. If you're thinking of coming to Northern Mexico for the first time, I would recommend Chihuahua over places like Durango, Torreon, and Chihuahua. where's the other one? Um, Culiacan, <laughs> that's it. Um, nothing against those places, I love them, um, but I would say Chihuahua definitely has that element of familiarity, especially if you are from North America. And also there's more English spoken here, um, as in, Ciro Juarez. Elotes. Oh uh, yeah, Elotes San Francisco. Because that place is something San Francisco. Uh, where someone was buried, I can't remember. I did mention it in the last year's in last year's video. Elotes. And there's the classic Angel Monument, right in the middle of the square. I've got some epic drone shots of that last year. Let's see if we can do that again. There's a lot of graffiti on it this time. That wasn't there last time. Yeah, it's everywhere. It just seem to be people's names. I don't know what the meaning of that is. Let me know if you know. Yeah, it's all up the monument as well. I'll have to Google these people, find out who they are. Oh, and we're back here. That's where I had Elotes last year. <laughs> the exact place. Um, yeah. So I think we'll end things there. Of course, there's a lot more to see in Chihuahua out of the central area. Uh, both times I've stayed here, I've stayed in residential areas on either side of the city. So I have seen other areas. We might go there in the next video. Um, so let me know what you think of Chihuahua down below. Would you come here? What do you think of it? Is it your kind of place? It's definitely mine. 
I do like Chihuahua. Oh, I just realised, I think this graffiti is about the uh, feminist um, movement. We saw that in Cordoba. Mystery solved. Plaza Mayor. Not looking as pretty as it used to. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. In Chihuahua. Actually, no, it won't be. It will be in Parral. Brilliant. See you soon. Catch you later.